Grüezi miteinander. Ich bin der Lukas. I'm Carly. Sziasztok. I'm Utnia. I'm Lizzie. Hi, my name is Priscilla. Hola, I'm Astrid. My name is James. Mi nombre es Daniela. I am Yael from Switzerland and I'm here to share a little testimony about the Ebenezer Young Adults Online Meetings that have been going on since the beginning of COVID. We started this online meeting, which was kind of the only way to keep in touch. And yeah, it's been going on ever since. And we had interesting topics from Jeremy Smith, who was talking about uh, inner healing and deliverance. We had testimonies from the field, from um, Pavel and Lina. But we also had uh, just recently a series by Johannes about the faithful servant. So you see, we had many, many different kind of inputs and we also had times of prayer together, which was very powerful. And to me, it's been really encouraging to see um, the next generation gathering together, willing to learn um, more about the ministry, about God, about, yeah, many things. In Israel, when we were in Engage uh, 2018, uh, God showed uh, um, a big part of his heart and he revealed himself to me. The main point, it was also to get uh, to know more God. And as a consequence, uh, he showed me his uh, plans uh, towards uh, Israel and uh, his people. I love Israel. And ever since I've been praying for Israel, I've literally seen the illumination and glorification of God's blessing upon my life. When I pray for the peace of Jerusalem or when I pray for the return of the Jewish people, I'm just engulfed with this warm embrace and love which transcends from another realm. God is so good to us. He's wonderful and he's fulfilling his purposes and bringing his people home. I'm Carly and I was so fortunate in 2016 to join the Ebenezer family and have an adventure in the land of Israel. And since that, um, since meeting a lot of you from many nations, um, I have been so keenly praying for for Israel and of course for Alia. It's been a special privilege and in Australia I am fortunate enough to be joined with Chris Cummings who heads our prayer team and um, we join Zoom meetings and I'm also fortunate enough to join you sometimes internationally in the international meetings. It is such a blessing to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Actually, I was invited to go to Engage Israel, which is the trip for young adults in Ebenezer Operation Exodus. And when I was there, I had a very unique experience. I was, to me, scriptures and prophet scripture was always in the wrong historical order and I couldn't relate to it. And when I was there, I could see that I was actually living in a time where the prophets wrote and I was standing right there. When I came home, it was a time where I decided to be part of the youth prayer group called Pillar of Fire. Every time we meet, it's a time of holiness and we can feel the majesty of the Lord. It's just looking to see what the Lord wants us to do. It's very um, encouraging for us to see that the Lord is actually moving his people, that it's moving in us, and that he's just putting everything that he wrote in the scriptures to life. We are here in Switzerland, and we want to share today about how we got connected to the ministry. So for me, it was quite like maybe 10, 10 years ago, and through a pastor that he uh, was sharing the vision about Ebenezer and Israel and after that we got an invitation to join the Young Adults Tour in Israel every year. For me it dates back as well 10-15 years actually. I was watching the documentaries of the Jews returning by ship from the Ukraine to Israel and that um, awoke the wish to join and the longing to join the ministry. So currently we're still connected to the ministry through, through online prayer meeting, the international one in Europe and as well for Latin America where in Latin America young people are joining every week to pray and, about Aliyah and blessing Israel and the returning of the Jewish people. And it's just such an encouragement despite all the restrictions of COVID we can meet new people online 
across the ages, but also the young adults meeting in Latin America and here in Europe. I'm Lizzie and I am part of the Ebenezer team in the UK. And despite the restrictions and the challenges of the last 18 months, we have been really blessed to be able to spend some precious times together. Over Zoom, we've gathered together to look at Hanukkah, uh, Purim and Passover. And these have been really special because these feasts or appointed times, they serve as reminders to, to us, to God's people, about the things that he's done. And they also give us a little foretaste about some of the things that he's yet to do. During term time, we have a Bible study on a Tuesday evening. And it has been such an incredible journey of discovery as we have picked apart quite literally the book of Acts. So those are some of the things that the young adults have been up to in the UK. So yeah, we are looking forward to what's ahead and how we can keep growing together as a next generation. Shalom. Adios. 